What's going on gamers? Today we're going to be installing WorldGuard onto our Apex server. WorldGuard is a bucket server plugin that requires WorldEdit to function properly. As a server owner, you can set spawn settings, PvP, and no PvP areas with what are called flags. With that brief introduction, I'm going to remind you to always make sure to save, stop, and back up your servers before you make changes. As you can see, our server stopped right here. Can't click that stop button because it's already stopped. What we're going to go ahead and do is make sure that our server is on a compatible version. Let's go ahead and scroll down to the jar selection drop down. Click that. Now, from the top, you can always scroll down or you can just type in CRA and then craft bucket is going to be one of the first things to pop up. For simplicity's sake, we're going to go ahead and select 1.12.2. We're going to make sure that we save. And once we've gotten our jars, we're going to head over to the plugin list. I'm going to show you how to install WorldGuard and WorldEdit in the correct order. And we're going to start the process by typing in World. It's going to be some of the first things to pop up, WorldGuard and WorldEdit. So the first thing that we're going to do is make sure that we get WorldEdit onto our server. The process is identical. Look for the version of the jar that you're using on your server. For us, it's 1.12. And look for the version of the plugin that you're going to be using that corresponds with the version of your world. For us, it's 1.12 and 6.19. We're going to scroll down to the version selection dropdown right here. And it's 6.19. And we're going to go ahead and hit install. Once that's done installing, scroll back up, head to the bucket plugin list, type in world again and make sure that you go into world guard again the process is identical look for the version of your jar that you're using and then look for the corresponding version for the said plugin for us this is going to be 6.2.2 and then 1.12 we're going to go ahead and scroll down to the version selection make sure that we click on 6.2.2 and then hit install once that's installed, we're going to head back to the Multicraft main page by clicking on your server's name at the top. And then from here, you can just go ahead and restart your server before hopping in. A good way to check on your server's status is to head into the console tab on the left. We can see here that the startup is done. And if we look up a little bit, you can see that our plugins have been enabled, World Edit and World Guard. And now that you've gotten all that out of the way, you can head into multiplayer, hop into your server, and see that I have this cute little hut set up for our tutorial. The first command that you're going to want to use is slash slash wand wand, and it gives you this little axe that you can use to set boundaries. Now, as a server host, you want to do these things so that you can have a certain area maybe for players to play in, or maybe you have a bunch of farm animals and whatnot that you don't want to hurt or something. So you can set these boundaries so that players can't hurt the animals in the boundaries or players can't build or destroy said boundaries. And you set these boundaries by left clicking with the wand, one point, and then you right click. Now, what I've done here is I've set it so that I cannot destroy anything under here, around this, this block right here, up until here. Over here, I can destroy this. So let's say if I set the region by typing slash RG define, and then I just name it anything I want. For this purpose, I'm just gonna name it test. So this whole area is called test right here. I'm an op on the server, so I can destroy it. And if I go into Survival, I can also destroy it. Let's give it a second. There you go. I can destroy that. But let's say I, I wasn't opt. Let's say I unopt myself. Right here, I could most definitely, no problem, place some blocks. I could also destroy some blocks. But let's say under here, where we have the that, that acacia corner that I put over there, I wanted to place this. It would give me a command that says, hey, sorry, but you can't place that block here. Meaning that World Guard is up and running the way that we want it to. 
So now that we have a clear understanding of regions with World Guard, we're gonna go ahead and hop back into creative. In creative, we're gonna give ourselves the wand again. Uh, you can either give it to yourself or just use the one that you got earlier. Get that corner, grab the other corner, and we can do something really interesting, which is slash slash, just like when you gave yourself the wand, expand and then vert, which will give this whole area from this block to that block all the way up and all the way down. So now you can set that for a player, you can set that for operators, you could do anything you wanted to. Now, I could create a new zone. RG, define, and then test two. I could do that. I shouldn't, because what I can do, I can just type RE, and then the command is slash RG, redefine, test. So now, instead of test being, you know, just this little area, test is this one, and I didn't have to create a, a new area. It just updated the one that we did first. With WorldGuard, there's also a function called flags. Flags are used in a similar way. They are for zones that you define with World Ed Wand. Let's say you wanted to enable, or in our case, disable the harming of our precious sheep. I've gone ahead and infested our little hut here with some little sheeps. We can go ahead and start typing commands, slash r, f l a g, and then test damage dash animals and then deny. So now any of the sheep that are in here cannot be damaged. So I'm gonna go ahead and unopt myself. And now for example purposes, we are unopt and in creative. I can do damage to any of the sheep outside of the zone. No issues with that besides the obvious moral ones but this is just for example purposes. However, for the sheep inside the zone, it's a different case. We cannot harm them, however hard we may try, and we also can destroy any of the blocks in the test zone because World Guard is functioning properly. In conclusion, this plugin is for server operators, builders, and moderators to use. Setting player permissions in specific areas makes it so that every player can have a fun experience tailored for their enjoyment. If your commands are not going through though, make sure that you're opt. You also will not be able to subvert certain areas if you aren't opt. And that's it, that's World Guard for you. You can use it on your Apex server to make sure that everything goes smoothly for you and your server patrons and for yourself. Thank you for using an Apex server. And as always, I hope you have lots of fun.